The equalizer is a crucial tool for shaping your sounds. Whether you're mixing audio or just doing some creative stuff, if you want to make amazing music, it's absolutely necessary to master this tool. Well, today you're going to learn everything about it. To open up an EQ, simply go to a mixer track and find the effects rack. And here, you'll find the fruity parametric EQ too. Once it's opened up, you can see the entire audio spectrum. On the left side, you can read the low frequencies. Which are the sub and bass sounds? On the right, you can see the high frequencies. These are crispy and clear. In the middle, you can see everything in between. Now on this spectrum is a line and on this line are these little buttons. They are called bands. You can grab one and drag it up or down. This will boost a specific frequency or it will turn it down. This can be done for so many different reasons. For example, here you can see the bass and a melody playing together. The lows of the melody are actually interfering with the lows of the bass. This makes everything sound muddy and it takes up a lot of space in the mix. Now to fix that, right click the first band of the EQ and go to band type. Choose high pass band. This will let the higher frequencies pass and of course cut off the lows. Click and drag the band to the right to cut away the low end. The further you go, the more will be cut off. You can use your scroll wheel to make the band more narrow or wider. Also feel free to click and drag the band order to change the shape. Great, you've now made more space for the bass to play because the melody is only using this side of the spectrum. Now, cutting off frequencies can also be done for creative reasons. For example, to create a lo-fi vibe to your drums. Simply add an EQ to your drums and turn the seventh band into a low-pass band. Then the more high frequencies you cut off, the older and muffled the sound will become. Kinda like an underwater effect. Now, to achieve great mixes, I wanted to give you guys a free infograph. It contains years of music learning experience that you can apply directly to your music. A clean vocal chain, amazing chord progressions and so much more. And all of that on one page. I'll, I'll leave a link for you guys below. Next up, you can also use the EQ for removing unwanted frequencies. These will take up a lot of space in your mix and you don't want that. For example, in this snare. Now to fix it, we're gonna take one band and drag it up all the way. Then use the scroll wheel to make it extremely narrow. Click the band and drag it throughout the spectrum until you find an extremely unpleasant sharp resonance. Once you have it, don't touch it, really important. Just go to the band settings on the right and drag the band down until you can't hear it anymore. This is something you should do when you record your own samples, sounds, vocals, instruments. But when you're using drum kits, you should be fine. Next, to use the EQ creatively, you can make these bands move automatically without you having to touch it. We're gonna make the intro of this instrumental a lot more interesting. First, make sure there's an EQ on your melody, then turn the seventh band into a low pass band again. When that's done, right click the position knob of the band and choose create automation clip. This will make a clip in the playlist that you can program to follow a specific movement. The way you adjust this automation clip will determine how the band will behave. Create a curve like this. This will make sure the EQ will slowly remove the high frequencies. It will sound like the music is moving away from the listener. Now, right when the chorus hits, you want everything to come back instantly. To do this, simply create another point on the automation clip and move it all the way up. That sounds really cool. By the way, if you guys have any creative EQ tip you can come up with, let me know down below. Next, I wanna show you guys five mistakes that every beat maker makes. So click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay creative.